Now, for those of you who are mad at me, who are pissed at me, who are disappointed in me because I am calling out the disgusting behavior portrayed by some folks who share my phenotype, I am going to be disappointing you yet again today because there is no way that I, Modi, will be in support of ideologies and mindsets like this. My name is Modi and you're welcome to Modi Speaks. We need help. Yeah, <laughs> we need help, okay? I just want to look you straight in the eye and be able to inform you categorically that some black people need help. Now, there are wonderful and educated, responsible and smart black people out there. That's a fact that nobody can negate, okay? And that is why I use the word some. Some of us black people need serious help. Some of us need serious mental evaluation. Some of us need correct sensitization and education on various issues. And most importantly, some of us need to get rid of the woke mind virus because it has destroyed our critical thinking skills. It has rendered us incapable of calling evil evil when we notice that the perpetrators of the said evil are people from our race. I want you to pay close attention to this video I'm going to be showing you right now, okay? Forget about your race for a minute and analyze this clip from the angle of a human being with conscience. Here we go. Help, help me understand Oakland a little bit more besides just like lawlessness and crime, because there is a little bit of that. We can't deny that, right? Personally, yeah. I don't look at a crime. If you're going into Target, a multi-billion dollar company, and stealing clothes, it's not a crime. You're resourceful. It's not a crime? Hell no. It's, you're resourceful as f you're homeless. Right, that's where street. we disagree, I think. You've yeah. been you've been displaced. I mean, because you're white and I'm black. There's a whole nother socioeconomical okay. piece that I have never had access to. So you can go into any single place and put your name on a piece of paper, yeah. apply for that job. You're not worried about if your name sounds too black. You're not worried about if when you show up if you gotta do something with your locks because it. it's inappropriate. Target enslaved my ancestors a year ago. Target? Target. What did if Target we, do? If we really want to break down every yeah. single break system down, that has truly empowered impoverished our community, okay. enslaved us, taken money from our yeah. families, and then displaced us as if now we're the burden to this entire city that was once 40% black. Sure. Huh, but what did Target do, and at what point do we not uphold any values when we lead to- At what point do we yeah. not uphold Target to then give back all of their funds that they can easily give back? But if like, we steal from Target, then we steal from CVS, then we steal from Walmart, and then the Walmart's but we leave, but black and then all we have- But we built it. No, no, but then all we have are corner stores in Oakland when we run out all these large businesses, Is right? It, uh, our corner stores are mom and pop's own. They're black and brown. Sure. We don't steal from our corner stores. That's the crazy okay. part. Security footage shows a man walking into Ideal Market in Oakland and seconds later ripping out the store's ATM. It happened around 10 p.m. Thursday night while the store was still open with an employee inside. We have ATM as a convenience for the neighborhood, for the customers that come here. But we could rock into okay, a let's corner take Walmart's store. in Chicago. Okay. They're gone. Why are they gone? Whose fault is that? Uh, people stealing from Walmart. Why did Walmart come into an urban city already and displace thousands of black people in an area where we needed housing first? Once we have housing, you can sustain yourself from there on in. Walmart! This is insane. This is just unbelievable. This is exactly the definition of lack of accountability. How worse can we get? Imagine this woman defending criminals who are stealing from Walmart and other stores, encouraging them and saying that because they are black, stealing from these stores is not actually stealing. It is being resourceful. Wow. These people will make you question common sense. They would make you look stupid for having a good head on your shoulders to the extent that you start wondering if you're living in the same reality as they are. <laughs> this is nuts. Now, first things first. The fact that these businesses are multi-million corporations doesn't mean that they should be stolen from, okay? These stores are not charity homes. They are private businesses created for the sole purpose of serving people and making profit. These stores are owned by hardworking individuals, not Santa Claus, not the government. They are private businesses and no matter how rich they are, they would still suffer losses if they are being stolen from. If I launch a business tomorrow and I play my cards right and my business grows to a multi-million dollar company, do you think it will be okay for you to rob my multi-million dollar company simply because I am rich now? Why is this lady advocating for a lawless and chaotic society? But to be fair, I blame the government, this particular government, for making people like this woman believe that black people stealing from these stores is not actually a crime. Yes, this government brought this on, okay? Because they have refused to treat these thieves as criminals and put them behind bars like they deserve. Belittling theft cases and just calling them misdemeanor and releasing culprits few hours after they have been arrested sends a message to would-be perpetrators that they can commit the same crime and get away with it. And that is why this woman shares this ideology because if she has witnessed these thieves get incarcerated for years, then she would understand 
that all robbery, no matter how poor or rich the victim is, is still a crime. I mean, because you're white and I'm black, there's a whole nother socioeconomical okay. piece that I have never had access to. So you can go into any single place and put your name on a piece of paper, yeah. apply for that job. You're not worried about if your name sounds too black. You're and there we go again with the victim card. Because you're white and I'm black, you are privileged. And I'm not always wanting to be perpetual victims. This woman has forgotten that we are in the era of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And if we analyze that statement she made, we would understand that the reverse have proven to be the case. Because DEI has made sure that white people are suppressed in order to accommodate people of color. In fact, having a black sounding name or a black heritage or black affiliations is considered a plus point. If you don't believe me, ask Kamala Harris or Colin Kaepernick. Target enslaved my ancestors a year ago. Target? Target. What did Target we, do? If we really want to break down every yeah. single break system down, that has truly impoverished our community, okay. enslaved us, taken money from our yeah. families, and then displaced us as if now we're the burden to this entire city that was once 40% black. And yes, Target enslaved the black community by providing us with easy access stores so we can purchase our daily needs. Target enslaved us by providing our communities with economic development. Yes, Target enslaved us by providing us with employment to help us earn a living. Target enslaved us by being in our neighborhood, yet we cry and we whine when this Target that enslaved us leaves our neighborhood. Please make this make sense. What did Target do and at what point do we not uphold any values when we lead to... At what point do we not yeah. uphold Target? to then give back all of their funds that they can easily give back. It is the boldness for me. It is the conviction in her voice. It, the, the, the fact that she thinks that she, she's making a brilliant point. So we should get Target and other big corporations that are independently owned by human beings, other people, to pay us reparations because they have so much money and they can always recover money. Wonderful. But if we right. steal from Target, then we steal from CVS, then we steal from Walmart, and then the Walmart's but we are, leave, but black and then all we have... But we built it. Know, but and then all we have... But we built it. Know, but if black people build these companies, then I guess the owners of these companies are black, right? Because this woman and so many others who have the same mindset as her do not understand that just because you are an employee in a company doesn't mean that you necessarily built that company. Yes, you're part of the process, but you didn't build the company. Unless you're the founder of that company, unless you're the brain behind that company, unless you're the one financing that company, then you are just an employee, not the builder. She made excuses for black people stealing at big stores because they are big corporations. They are multi-million dollar corporations. Well, what does she have to say for black people stealing from small stores owned by black people and brown people alike? She said nothing. But we could rock into okay, a let's corner. Let's say Walmart's in Chicago. Okay. They're gone. Why are they gone? Whose fault is that? Uh, people stealing from Walmart. Why did Walmart come into an urban city already and displace thousands of black people in an area where we needed housing first? Once we have housing, you can sustain yourself from there on in. Walmart! No matter the evidence you provide for people like this, they would never condemn this evil because the perpetrators are skin folk, okay? And to top it all off, it is Walmart's fault that Walmart is getting robbed in black neighborhoods. Because how dare Walmart make life easy and accessible for black people? How dare they? Well, this is my letter to these companies, okay? Dear Walmart and other big corporations, I hope you're watching. You'd better understand that these kind of people prefer to travel miles and miles away in order to purchase basic products. They love the skyrocketing rate of economic drain and unemployment that hit their neighborhoods when you left their neighborhood. They love that grandma almost died waiting for them to travel far out to purchase her drugs, which used to be available in the CVS by the corner. They love the inconvenience that comes with not having you around. These people detest comfort and good things. I kindly implore you Walmart and other big corporations to avoid venturing into these neighborhoods again to avoid enslaving them further. Signed, a concerned Uncle Tom. As always guys, these are my opinions but feel free to drop yours in the comment section below but do so respectfully. And also consider subscribing to my channel, like and share this video to keep people informed and thanks for watching this video. I hope to catch you on my next upload. For now, peace.